Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to look at progression of a lesion over the course of a year, a case nicely illustrating uh, the unpredictability of uh, coronary artery disease. The patient is a 60-year-old uh, farmer. Uh, he has high blood pressure and smokes, uh, but continues to work on the farm and has always prided himself on his uh, physical fitness. He uh, went to the cardiologist because of some exertional dyspnea. Uh, his echo showed a normal EF, uh, but some mild uh, inferior hypokinesis. The uh, nuclear stress test, uh, however, showed a, a very large area of uh, inferior ischemia. So on cath, uh, he had a long CTO of the RCA, but uh, which was well uh, collateralized uh, from the left. Um, the LED has mild disease. Uh, the OM uh, had a moderate proximal disease, uh, which uh, was not significant, uh, significant uh, by FFR. The FFR was um, 0 0.89. So it was decided to manage the CTO and OM disease medically. Uh, he was only on minimal medications at this point. Uh, he was placed on aspirin and a statin. Uh, he was already on a calcium channel blocker for his blood pressure, uh, so a, a beta blocker uh, was added. Uh, he was also urged uh, to uh, stop smoking. At the three-month visit, uh, he was doing well. Uh, his exertional dyspnea was better, and uh, he was able to, to, uh, to uh, do more work uh, around the farm. Uh, six months later, at the nine-month visit, uh, he uh, complained uh, that the exertional dyspnea had come back. And now he occasionally also had chest pressure, uh, especially when he did uh, heavy lifting. Uh, he uh, uh, had uh, cut back on his work on the farm uh, on his own. Uh, he had no chest pain or dyspnea at rest. So uh, his cardiologist added IMDR, and uh, he was told to come back and see him uh, in four weeks. So one month later, uh, despite IMDR, he felt no different. If anything, uh, his, it was now easier uh, to uh, trigger uh, chest pressure. Uh, still no symptoms at rest. Uh, Renolazine was added. Uh, another nuclear stress test uh, was done, and that was unchanged, uh, showing the same inferior ischemia uh, that he had uh, about a year ago. So his uh, cardiologist asked us to do another cath. So uh, there were the usual snickers about why we were doing another cath when he had just had one less than a year ago and the nuclear stress test one change. But nonetheless, uh, maybe the CTO for some reason was uh, causing him issues now. So uh, on cath, uh, the RCA and LED were unchanged. The CTO looked the same and was still well collateralized from the left. However, the OM lesion uh, had uh, clearly progressed. Uh, the lesion is now severe, appeared complex, and the vessel was almost uh, subtotaled. Quite a dramatic progression uh, in less than a year. Uh, maybe ha he had a partially healed uh, plaque rupture. Uh, we did not think it was necessary or even safe uh, to pass an FFR wire to evaluate uh, the OM uh, at this point. Uh, we uh, used the BMW wire to cross the lesion. It was actually a little bit tricky to wire, uh, and we did it very gingerly uh, to avoid disrupting and dissecting the plaque in the uh, proximal OM. Uh, once the OM was wired, uh, we pre-dilated with a 2.25 millimeter balloon and stented with a 2.5 by 28 millimeter DES. Uh, the lesion was somewhat recalcitrant, and it took 2.5, 2.75, and 3.0 uh, millimeter NC balloons at high pressures uh, to be able to adequately uh, post-dilate the stent. And uh, here is the uh, final angiographic result, which we thought was quite satisfactory. Uh, he had a very nice uh, clinical outcome. Uh, IMDR and renolazine were stopped. Um, at the two-week visit, uh, his angina had completely resolved, as had his uh, exertional dyspnea. Uh, he was able to resume uh, his normal activities uh, on the farm. All right, uh, take home messages. Um, it's very hard to know uh, which lesion will progress and which won't. And uh, rather than actual build of a plaque, my personal theory is that rapid progression of a lesion, as in this case, probably reflects uh, partially healed uh, plaque rupture. And plaque rupture is unfortunately uh, impossible to predict. Uh, stress testing is very useful, but as we all know, uh, it is neither 100% sensitive nor 100% specific. Same with uh, coronary CT. And uh, repeat coronary angiography is reasonable, even if one was fairly recently done. 
especially if there are new symptoms, and especially if the symptoms progress uh, despite medications. Thank you for watching.